what's up guys, Kevin here from Snowboard Pro Camp. In this video, we've got the Snowboard Addiction Training Board, and we're gonna take you guys through 10 advanced tricks. Let's do it. All right, so for the first difficult trick, we're gonna go for the 180 on, 180 off, and the key with this trick is just getting the twisting 180, landing flat, and then winding up to twist the 180 off. Oh, first try. Yeah, so landed it first try. Just the key is getting that body wound up. Clean level pop so they can land level and then winding up again to get that second 180. On to the next trick. All right, so next up, gonna try a 270 off. This is just gonna be about landing the board slide level and then rotating to get that 270. I might warm up with something easier first. Yeah, so it's just about getting that clean landing on the board slide and then really twisting and turning to get the 270. The thing that helped me bring it around is really looking with my head. I think that was the key. Chris, you want to give it a go? Yep. Okay, so the first trick I'm going to go for is probably one of the easiest combos, which is a nose press into a tail press and then coming off nice and smooth. Yeah, so I think the key for the nose tail press combo is keeping your body relatively center and then moving the board underneath you rather than trying to move yourself over the board. Okay, I'm gonna go for a swim. How about backside? Oh, it's close. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> you almost tipped it off into the water. I just manual the box. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next trick is doing a 50-50 on and then a 180 on the box and then coming off. What's the key for this trick? Just on the spin while on the box, just making sure you get a re really clean pop up and then you spin the board rather than trying to jump and spin at the same time. Was it rotation or twist? I tried both ways and the twist was way, way easier. You have that frame of reference where your head isn't spinning, your head's locked in one position and it just makes everything else a lot easier. Well, doing a 60 foot rail here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go for an advanced trick that I'd love to do on the mountain, which is the 50-50 on and then back 360 off. See if I can put that down. And the key to that trick is getting wound up and then rotating to get the 360. See it? Seeing is believing. Do you think we should give him that one? What do you think? Yeah, it's hard to get that 360 spin around because I just don't have enough height to pop it up. So it's like, it doesn't give me much time in the air. That's why you need like a taller rail or something with a bit of a kick. Should I try one more time? It's in the head too, looking the head around. Oh, I thought you meant it's like a mental thing. <laughs> All right, so next up, I'm gonna try some kind of combo nose press to board slide. So I think the key is gonna be getting solid onto the press and then just twisting to get that board slide out flat, coming off straight. Yeah, so the tip with getting that down, for myself, I first had to just get it straight in my head. So getting the solid nose press and then starting to turn and twist my body so that I could go for the board slide worked out good. Let's add another combo onto that trick. For this one, I'm just gonna change it around a bit and go for the tail press to board slide. Oh, 
Yeah, so for those combo tricks, I think it's just about wrapping your head around it, getting the first one before moving on to the second. But it was just getting balanced on my tail and my tail press before twisting to get the board slide. Chris, you up, man? All right, I'm gonna try to go for a board slide and grab my board at the same time. Whoa. Yeah. Was... What are the grabs you may be going for? Gonna go for the melon and the roast tofu, also known as the roast beef. Yeah! Oh, don't lean back. Woo! Just gotta make sure that you ba you really balance over the board before you even start bending down. And then do you do lots of stretching ahead of time? Yeah, you could do your 10 minute yoga warm up. There you go. Hand. If you fall into the water, it'll be a roast beef au jus. Okay, Let's see how this one goes. Front board to back board, and then squat douche on the ground. Take us through it, how's it going? Yeah, it's just getting the, the hips right over the front first board slide. Yeah. Otherwise, if you don't have a good platform, you won't be able to, to, be able to get a, a clean spin. Okay, have you ready to do your final trick? Ready. All right. So the key for me for getting that back lip and just getting my head around it was first doing the 50-50 and then twisting at the back lip and just doing that over and over again until I built the muscle memory in my head. And then once I had that down, then I could just go for the straight into a back lip and skip the 50-50 altogether. Sometimes you just gotta train your brain. What are you going for for your final trick? This one's gonna be a disaster. Tail press and then spin around on there into a nose press. Pop off. Yeah, that's it. So I feel like the trick for this one is as you pop into your first tail press to have your upper body balanced but already twisted around the back a little bit so that you can smoothly spin it into your nose and then come off. Yeah, yeah I think that one that was just practice. Getting really balanced and then just feeling that right amount of twist before you actually spin your board. Awesome guys, so give these 10 tricks a try. If you don't have a training board at home, there's a few other videos where we show you how you can make one yourself or use your snowboard. Let us know down in the comments any other combos that you would try or difficult tricks that you want to see next. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks Chris. Yeah, thanks Kevin for uh, inviting me down here to do some tricks. And I'm really excited to see how this is gonna transform to there. There. Hey, we got the Pico Whistler right there. The moon. Oh, the moon. Thanks for watching guys. For Snowboard Pro Camp merch, check out the link in the description. For more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell because we have two live Q&A sessions every week. Check out the Snowboard Pro Camp playlist for more videos and we'll see you soon.